Hello, everyone. A few days back, I went to shopping with my friend. And uh, as we were strolling through the products and uh, we were looking through the products, we saw that there are different labels, uh, industry buzzwords, uh, saying everything is sustainable, everything is green, everything is eco-friendly. Um, even a water bottle, which is a plastic one-time use bottle, had a picture of mountains, uh, lakes, river. Uh, it's like there are uh, unrelatable words like farm fresh. It was, everything was like absolutely fresh. And how do we know that everyone is talking uh, real, uh, these are true things? Uh, how do we justify these claims? So uh, as I was discussing with my friend, um, so uh, I said that these might be the ESG uh, approach, the strategies that the companies have. By the way, anyone have any idea what is ESG? It is the environmental social governance. It is a framework that the, com that the companies have basically to attract investors. This company have make some strategies uh, so that these companies can uh, can portray themselves as uh, very environmentally sustainable. Uh, they can show that they are uh, taking effort, putting in efforts to help the nature. The resources they are taking from the nature, they are also caring about it and they are giving back. Uh, research says that consumers uh, also tend to buy from and support companies who are uh, more uh, keen towards having a having a look towards the nature and are more sustainable so this is esg and this is one of their strategies to go to the market which showing that they are very sustainable but okay but if you have noticed that uh, when we go to a hotel there are there are it's mentioned that uh, the bed sheets and towels will be washed maybe a two, two days after. What does that mean? Does, does that mean that they are really care about the water? And that is just the marketing gimmick, whereas they're also saving some cost, operational cost. So like when a company goes digital, they're also saving some paper cost, right? So that is, uh, but they are portraying themselves as they are going eco-friendly. They are more sustainable now. Um, for example, uh, in 2008, Coca-Cola claimed that um, they will be water neutral by 2020. Very well. So uh, they, at, they also mentioned that they have achieved their goal five years earlier. And now the thing is, this claim was also defined by them that how do they mean what is what do they mean by water neutral? So they mean that they will go water neutral within the four corners of their facilities. But however, that did not consider 90% of the water they actually used for the agriculture of the sugar that is used to sweeten the coke. And very recently in um, November 2023, uh, so uh, WBA assessed around 55 uh, influential clothing companies. Um, it includes big names like Adidas, uh, Shein. So what they found is they raised questions and concerns against human uh, gender equality and human rights. So uh, what we see here is these companies are concerned about their employees, but they are, uh, they are also getting suppliers, the products from their suppliers, and it's a big chain of people that are working for them. But they are not making it a mandate that their suppliers are following the same rules and making it a mandatory and for the human rights policies. Uh, like, for example, they are not making it a requirement that their suppliers are having a 14 weeks of maternity program for their employees, which is a global standard, right? Uh, so looking at these, it seems like everything is not as green as they try to portray themselves. 
So that is what is called greenwashing. Now, with so my friend asked that, well, then there must be someone who is looking into this. Um, yeah, that's true. There is someone. There is uh, we have our uh, some norms and structures, frameworks to look into these, but the rating agencies, ESG rating agencies have different standards. They, they take many things into consideration to put the ratings, but if you look at the ratings from different agencies, they differ a lot. Um, there is a correlation stands at 0 0.61, which is really not a great uh, number to look at. Uh, what that means is our agency might have a different rating. That our, one agency might say a company is doing good, it's green, it's clean, but whereas another agency might say something different. Um, so which product to buy and which one sh who to trust? Now, the biggest problem of our planet is we think some superhero will swoop in and save our planet. Unfortunately, there is no such superhero here. So we will have to be the superhero and take some step. So what can we do here? Any solution in your mind? Technology, right? So these marketing claims are based on data. And these data, and for any greenwashing, this evidence is missing. So we, and this evidence, if this is missing, how can we bridge the gap between the words and the action? So here comes technology. Well, there are many technologies that can play a role here. I'll mention two of them. First comes the hero uh, blockchain. So he, it is the digital ledger that keeps a track of every step what I mean here is it keeps a track of from the source when uh, say for a, your morning cup of coffee or tea, it tracks where it was sourced from the plantation to its processing unit until your cup. So this type of information is cannot be edited at a later point. That means it's reducing the fraud. It's immutable, right? So this is reducing the fraud, creating transparency, and that's how you can trust the information that is coming to you. And this is also keeping a track of the carbon footprint the industry is creating, which can be taken care of at a later point. Um, another technology that I would come to is ethical AI. And uh, why I say ethical AI is because Suppose, uh, think of a um, human resource tool which will uh, scroll through the CV and maybe shortlist the CVs as per uh, not being biased on any gender or ethnicity or anything else. Um, another tool can be um, maybe healthcare sector where it is uh, the tool will prioritize human health, the patient care, and not hospital profit. And uh, so uh, there can be many things that ethical AI can take care of by uh, keeping a track of the data, uh, highlighting, flagging any issues that might have any uh, issues of gender inequality or biasness or anything as that can be removed, which de develops trust in the system and helps in overall governance. I think these two tools are a huge weapon to you as the superhero. So now when you have the, super, the superpower in, in your superheroes, so we can join our hands to help and save the earth now. Thank you.